Hey guys, welcome back. It's Green Reaper coming at you for another video for Ray Shadows. Hopefully doing well and hopefully looking at ourselves and hopefully having a great start to the weekend uh, and stuff like that. Uh, well, weekend is on Adonis. It is Friday and we are looking uh, juicy and we have got a fusion going on. So there's going to be our shard video, but also my personal thoughts on this fusion as well. It is a classic fusion, so it's a bit difficult to get this fusion. And then we're going to go over some uh, tips and tricks as well with the schedules and stuff like that, right? So I will put timestamps down below for the sharp pools. I'm going to open five sacreds and see what we get. So first of all, um, my personal thoughts on this fusion. Now, overall, this fusion is a interesting fusion uh, going because he hasn't got a lot to go for him. And what do I think about him overall? So I think if you're an in-game player, Overall for Hydra and you're quite competitive for Hydra. If I'm honest and first brutal from all the content I've seen on him and I've seen quite a few videos, I don't think he's crazy, right? Like his kit is a little bit wonky and a little bit backwards. What do I mean by that? He has increased attack on the A2 and then a hex on the A3. So I think if it was uh, increased attack was on this ability, um, he would have a much better kit overall. And I can't see him being that good. Now, he can do some damage. Don't get me wrong. Uh, and he can bring some stuff to your account. But I think if you have a very stacked account already or fairly stacked account in Hydra, um, then I don't feel like he makes your Hydra team, especially if you're using like a Trunda and a Wixwell teams and stuff like that. However, they do a soul event for this guy that could change the abilities for him. And if you're missing a hex champion at all, if like if you don't have Mishi uh, and stuff like that, then he could be a good additional to your roster. Overall, attack based nukers are hard to keep alive. So I think if you're mid game, it's very difficult to keep him alive and to give him the stats to do like significantly raw damage. Um, so that is another thing as well, which I feel like holds him back. But he could be definitely be a champion for the future for your account. Obviously, Faction Wars and PVC content like Doomtown and stuff, if you have a small row, so you could definitely do some work. But again, tap base, it's hard to keep them alive. So, overall, am I doing this fusion? Yes, because gold is gold. Um, and unfortunately, if we are wrong about him, it'll cost you way more money to get him. But the main reason why I'm actually going for him myself, if I'm completely honest, is because I have to do these missions. And I'm trying to pro prioritize these missions so I can get a hold of Horsey to increase my account progression in live arena and that's the only reason why i'm doing this fusion and it's a sad feeling to kind of know that's the only reason why i'm personally going for it and i go for near enough every fusion in raid so that is how i kind of feel now some tips and tricks for this um if you are going to this fusion then save your epics for the champion chase for next weekend uh, I'm pretty sure, I feel like, nothing confirmed, I feel like there will be a prison event next week, so if you get hold of some prison uh, shards, keep it for next week, I feel like it'd be that, or the stones, it'd be one of them, and if you have any remnants, keep some remnants, and if you've got some um, fragment summons, then obviously that's another good way to go as well, and stuff like that, so keep that for next weekend, to help you with shards, especially if you're running low, I'm unfortunately in the position where I'm not running low on shards because I don't really open unless it's fusion. So we're going to go for um, Istone because I did actually skip her fusion because I was feeling a bit burnt out with everything going on. So we're going to go for her. I'm not close to Mercy. And the epic I've picked is Allure because I'm looking to get my two Allures empowered for Cursed City, which is one of the rooms that's very difficult and uh, I think both of my laws got used for that, so I can't remember too much off the top of my head. Uh, bear me a second, because my phone is going off like a disco ball uh, overall. Uh, and so just silence that. So yeah, um, I don't feel like this fusion is fantastic. I feel like he's good. I think he's just a BT, BT champion for myself. So even if he gets a blessing next week, I can't see me going all out for the blessing even if it's a five star I don't see me going all out for that I don't see it adds anything to my roster in general so 
in uh in the dawn of this we're going to open the five sacreds i'm not going to go for epic um because uh, it's kind of expensive if i'm honest uh so we've got morgan that's really really cool because i need to empower two of them to plus fours so that's going to be for Genker city i've got another legendary coming in through here that is going to be a dupe i did do her fusion so that is a bit of a heartbreak overall but you know it is what it is and any legendary right now is cool um maybe i could do something with guardian factions i'm not too sure uh see what we can do another geo which is fantastic uh so far so good geo for empowerment which would be cool i think it's the first one pulled since the empowerment stages came through there's a law which is what we want to see uh so actually out of the four shards these are all very strong pulls and the last one can we finish on a gold no we don't but we do finish with a muslim mage now muslim mage is good i kind of want to show use this opportunity to show you what my empowerment is looking like right now unfortunately this is a interesting pull because uh we have got another one here so i think we're starting power in shimnami if i'm honest shinny uh overall but like i could get it to a plus four which is not a bad way to go i think we can empower one of them i'm not too sure if any of them booked to a max because of cursed city uh which was the way to go for one of the floors so we have to check on that and then we can empower a couple of champions uh through this so let's go ahead and empower so we've got the epic uh spirit right so spirit Muslim mage can go to a plus four which is super cool so Muslim mage would join a plus four team um <laughs> Muslim mage you know mix mix reviews on the champion you know he used to be really really strong back in the day but he's definitely getting a now I have two already. I took this one up to a plus one because uh, back in the day I only had a three star blessing on her. And now we're going to take this one to a plus one. So, yeah, you know, she's got the higher level awakening. They're both plus ones. I'm going to be keeping them around, both of them around for a very long time. Both got mastery, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, we can go have a look at law. We can empower one of these laws if we know which one is to empower. Not too sure if we can see the speed one is the one we use the most regularly, so we'll power her. She needs like the damage, right? Like she can one shot with A3, but it is hard to kind of use her. And we've got Geo as well. I can empower Geo as well. Because Geo is someone I don't really use as much on the channel these days. So I think we can empower this one and we'll have a little look at that so to be honest i might empower another geo as well on top of that and take it to plus two just gotta be careful sand devil uh and that should leave me just under the fragments we're gonna get a five star blessing which is cool uh sorry a six star speed lift which is very nice for player room to do and that will leave me like 20 points 25 points through and we'll probably pop some greens for our efforts there I suppose actually we can pop some blues because it's 20 it's 20 for uh per sacred uh, per agent right so maybe we can get a little bit lucky steel skull great epic for me and torture hammer as well so that should basically meet me close let's have a look uh sorry summon this will take me to just under two. Okay, we're just under. So, how many sacreds? We could do two sacreds, right? So, we do, we do two, sorry, two agents. Why do I keep saying sacreds? I don't know. I can't really complain of these rates, like. I think they were very, very good pause on the five sacreds. That's just something we have to just do and keep. So, I'm hoping tomorrow we'll have another shard video up on the channel. We will have a live arena video up today push going on and my new build on monkeys go check it out my dailies are looking nice nice done got the rare so we secure the rare and hopefully we can start replenishing these uh these um sacred shards that we just opened please remember to like comment and subscribe babbing grinny reaper
I'll see you in the next one. Peace.